Hi everyone, it's Tara from Man Happy, and I'm about to share with you my new favorite thing in the entire world, the iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. It makes all my lettering dreams come true. I'm obsessed, guys. I am so in love, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, first things first. The thing is massive, guys, it's huge. This is the iPad Mini, and this is the iPad Pro. The reason why I love it being so huge is I actually got rid of my laptop and I bought the case with the keyboard in it. So I just use this as my laptop. So I can draw on it, I can do my emails on it, I can do practically anything my laptop would do. But it's also my drawing tablet, so it's awesome. So I could go into a bunch of details about like how amazingly loud it is, so it's awesome to watch movies on, and lots of other details. But this is a review for doing hand lettering on one of these, so let's get started. I have downloaded every single drawing app available on the app store, I promise. And my favorite one, absolutely, I'm like, have zero complaints. I love, love, love it. It's called Procreate. I know that word has multiple meanings and I don't know if they know that, but because the app is so awesome, they can call it whatever they want. So now I'm gonna show you some lettering using my Apple Pencil and my iPad Pro on the Procreate app. Okay, so normally I'm not a big fan of gestures, but this app has a bunch of them but I learned them super quick. They have a really good ebook that goes through everything if you ever have questions. It's all right there, so I won't teach you how to use the app because they do such a good job at that, but I'll show you kind of how I use it. So they have like a million brushes that you can choose from. You can also make your own brushes or edit brushes that they already have, which is awesome. So, and everything is completely customizable. So there's so many just Endless, endless, endless possibilities. Anything you want the brush to do, it can do. I've made a bunch that look identical to real brushes I use, which is awesome. So, I'm gonna get started. Usually I start out with a sketch on my first layer. So two finger tap will go back and three finger tap will go forward. just rough pencil sketches that I can do on my refining and all that good stuff. And then from there I can create a new layer and then go to one of my brushes and this is the size of my brush and this is the opacity of my brush. So then I can go in and I can turn on and off layers and I can delete layers and I like it because if I'm having a shaky day, kind of like today, I can go in and fine tune it. Another thing I kind of love is you can replay what you've done. Which for some reason is super fun. <laughs> but you can cut things and get rid of them. Move them around. Anyways, the possibilities are legitimately endless. It's so much fun it's just like it's super addicting and you know, it just brings out 
the creative in everyone, seriously. You can move layers around. You know, just, just stuff. Just endless, endless, awesome, fun stuff. I could legitimately sit there and play with it all day long, but that kind of gives you an idea of what it can do and why I love it so much. I love it. Feel free to ask me any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And make sure you subscribe so you can see more.